What's going on everybody? I'm Cigar Show Tim. Welcome to another episode of Tobacco Talk where every week I review a cigar, give you my thoughts on it, draw, burn, construction, flavor notes, and hopefully educate you a little bit in the process at the same time. If you enjoy that kind of content, make sure you click subscribe, or ring that notification bell, and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So this week's cigar, this week's cigar was originally from a different manufacturer that doesn't exist anymore. It was a collaboration between Eddie Ortega and Eric Espinoza. And it was around in 2016 and then really disappeared. And I'll get into more of the history on it a little bit later in this review video, but it's coming back in January, 2021. And uh, well, you've already seen the title, so you know what it is, but I'm excited to check this one out. This is the Toro size and it is the Espinosa 601 Black. Let's light it up. All right, everybody, so let's get going with this one. I'm gonna cut it and light it, and <laughs> I'm excited to get into it. Now, I got this one from Little Guy Cigar Shop. He had very, very few that were available uh, from the remaining inventory at the end of La Zona Palooza, which just recently happened virtually. And uh, Michael Wells over at Little Guy Cigar Shop, great, great place. If you have not checked him out, please go do that. And uh, yeah, you just, you gotta check him out. But he was able to get his hands on what little bit there was left of this inventory in the warehouse. And so he bought it all. So he has got this in limited quantities, as I mentioned, because, well, he got all they had. And uh, I'm excited to check it out. Let's get some cold run notes. Hmm. Some breadiness. A little bit of sweet fruit, raisin-like, which you expect from more of a darker cigar. We'll get into the blend a little bit later. But yeah, some breadiness and some dried fruit. Well, without any further ado, let's toast her up. Okay, on initial light up, get some breadiness, some like toasted bread, really good. But there's some pepper in there. There's some spicery I feel on the horizon. Some breadiness, some, some pepper spice, not overpowering, but there's definitely some spice there. A little bit of woodiness, some light cedar. It's good. Well, I've just barely cut and lit. So I'm gonna jump into the first third and I'll come back with you and come back to you with my thoughts about the Espinosa 601 Black in just a second. Be right back. All right, everybody, I am back at the end of the first third with the 601 Black and let me tell you, this is a smooth cigar and the burn on this is doing great you know i'm not one for long ash but uh ash hold is great hold on a second here but the burn line is doing fantastic it's got a little bit of a wave but overall it is doing great i have not touched it up i haven't relit it it is performing very well but you want to know about flavor notes Flavor notes, the woodiness has ramped up a little bit more. The pepper is more like a white pepper that's sort of coating my mouth. And the, the breadiness is still there. It's not as pronounced. It's just a very woody, peppery cigar right now. And there's there's like a, 
a little bit of a tingle on the back of my throat from the pepperiness, but it's really good. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the, the foot of the cigar just keeps smoking and it's doing great. I'm going to tap off that ash, but it's good. And smoke output obviously is doing well. So that's what it's like at the end of the first third. When I come back at the second third, I'll give you the makeup and the blend and everything that goes in to the 601 Black and what it is consisting of. And I'll go into more of the history of how it started, like I teased at the very beginning in the intro, and give you a little more background on the cigar. So that's my thoughts at the end of the first third. Come back in just a second. Don't go anywhere, because you're going to learn a little bit more about the cigar. Be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back at the end of the second third on the cigar. Let me tell you, the burn, it's still doing really well. So you want to know a little bit about the cigar. Let's get to the blend on it first. First off, it is, and I'm reading this directly from Half Wheel, who put out the article back in October saying that the 601 Black was going to be released again in January 2021. So that's where the information is from. In case you're curious and you want to go check it out, I highly recommend halfwheel.com if you are not already in tune with an unbiased cigar industry news outlet. Halfwheel.com is a great place to get your information. So, the blend on this. This is an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. <clears throat> so that's the makeup of it. That's all it says as far as the blend on the 601 Black. Now, as far as the backstory on it, it's only going to be offered, by the way, as a 6x52 Toro. Now, a little bit of backstory on it. <clears throat> there was a cigar, EO Cigars, uh, that is no more, that was with Eddie Ortega and Eric Espinoza. Back in uh, early 2012, I believe, or 2010, according to what Half Wheel was saying, in 2010, uh, the brand discontinued. It was no longer around. And now, sort of, uh, uh, not sort of, but a brick and mortar has sort of continued on uh, with that name, uh, Evil Clown, and then a store, you know, is exclusively carrying it on the West Coast uh, here in San Jose, California. I'm not in San Jose, but here in California where I am. So, that's what the brand was, EO Brands, that originally came out with the 601 line. Eric Espinoza, when EO Brands discontinued, Espinoza took on and absorbed the entire 601 line. There's the red, the green, the blue, the black. Uh, and so starting January 2021, Espinoza Cigars is going to be re-releasing the black. And they're looking at doing a couple different things with it potentially, looking at doing sort of a limited run every January with it, but reintroducing it into the market uh, with specifically this. The flavor notes that I picked up in the second third of this, you still get the woody notes. The breadiness is coming back a little bit stronger now. The, the spicery level, it's probably about a medium right now. I don't have the tingling on the back of my throat like I did at the very beginning, uh, but there's still that good, strong, like pepper flavor and the coating in my mouth that was there. It is still there now. The burn, the draw, everything is doing really well. The draw is not too tight. It's not too light. It, it's right where I like it for me. It, it's, it's a perfect sweet spot. Um, so that's where the flavor notes are on it as of right now. There's also just a touch of some creaminess that's in there. It's not very pronounced, but I like creaminess in cigars, and this has just a touch of that creaminess to it. So those are the flavor notes in the second third. That's a little bit of the background on it, the blend on it, again, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper with Nicaraguan binders and fillers. They are gonna be coming in a 6x52 Toro exclusively. That is the only Vitola or size that they will be coming in. But that is what the 601 Black makeup is, the history of it, all those different things. But I'm excited for these to be back out in production and be out there. And really the reason that they came out when they did in uh, 2016 was so that they could meet the cutoff of 2017 for the um, pre-predicate and all the different FDA guidelines and regulations that were going on at the time. So that's what it is. I'm going to jump into the final third and I will be back with you with my final thoughts and my rating on the cigar. As you know, here at Tobacco Talk, everything's either nub worthy or it's not. There's no other rating scale here. So I'm gonna jump into the final third and uh, come back to you at the end of the cigar and let you know, let's take this band off. Let you know, I started to shred a little bit. And there we go. But came off clean. 
So I'm going to jump to the final third. I'll be back with you at the end of the cigar. Be right back. All right, everybody, let's wrap up this review. Flavor notes. As smooth a flavor note, as good draw flavor note, no, but man, those two things stick out to me the most about this 601 Black. So the flavors have continued the same for the most part. The woodiness is still there. There's a creaminess to it, uh, like I mentioned in the last segment, that is still there. There's a good nuttiness. When you retrohale and you get a good amount through your retrohale, there's a great toasted nut flavor note that comes through that's absolutely delicious and if anybody knows me you know that I love uh, caramel but I also love nuttiness there's no caramel notes in this cigar but the nuttiness the toasted nuttiness is absolutely there on the retro hail pepper has diminished I would say body wise this is probably a good solid medium um, it's not a, a mild plus I'd, I'd put it as a good solid medium in terms of body but those are the flavors. It's really been consistent. There's still the woodiness. There's a little bit more of a stronger woody note. It's still cedar, but it's a little bit more of like a, a char to it. And it's just been so consistent and smooth. That's why I said smooth. Like if that was a note, then like that is just what is stuck in my head with this cigar. Woody, creamy, nutty, white pepper, not really coating the whole mouth anymore. It's just sort of the roof of the mouth. I don't have the tingle in the back of the throat like I did at the beginning, but it's just good. I am excited for when these come out in January because, well, if you couldn't tell by now, <laughs> is the cigar nub worthy, nub worthy or not? Yeah, it is absolutely nub worthy. A little bit of spice on that retro hail, but it's just so good. So if you want to check out the Espinosa 601 Black, you've got to go check out littleguyscigarshop.com. He has a limited quantity now in stock. It's part of a sampler pack, so you're going to get quite a few different Espinosas with it. Uh, you're actually going to get some that I'm not going to tell you about that are brand new, that are out from Espinosa, that are um, part of their line and their core line and what they're doing. But go check out littleguyscigarshop.com and get your 601 black like today like like now like be logging on as i'm finishing my review to make sure that you get your hands on this until the new year when they get released again and i did just check with michael he said yes absolutely they're going to be carrying them when they get released in 2021 but if you want to get your hands on it now which i highly highly recommend go to littleguycigarshop.com check them out and pick up one of the sampler packs that has the 601 black in it. Those have been my thoughts on the 601 black. I love it. It's delicious. It's amazing. This is one that will absolutely be part of my rotation. And I just did my top 10 cigars of the year last week and released it. This probably would have placed, but since they're releasing it in 2021. Maybe I'll get to add it to next year's list. We'll see. It's definitely going to go on the list of uh, possibilities already. But those have been my thoughts on the 601 Black, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out this week's edition of Tobacco Talk. Enjoy your cigar journey. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.